Democrats, the House and Senate, they're in session together for just 12 days. Between, look at the calendar. That's the congressional calendar. Between now and the debt ceiling deadline, end of September, they've got 12 days where they're in session together. Edwin Fuller is with us. He's the president of the Heritage Foundation. I don't see, Ed, how you can possibly get a budget done and a debt ceiling done in a 12-day period. And I don't think you can do it. Therefore, tax reform is delayed even more, isn't it? Well, that seems to be the real, real problem facing us right now, Stuart. You know, we view the debt ceiling as a smoke alarm. It's really telling us, hey, we've got to get spending under control. And frankly, that means looking at mandatory spending, too, not just at the discretionary side, because that's where the big dollars are. And we've got to do something on that score in order to get a debt ceiling increase through this year because we can't just keep kicking the can down the road. But the Republicans are not united on a debt ceiling. A lot of conservatives do not want the government to go out and borrow a whole more mountain of cash. I think most conservatives would come around on that. First of all, because these are obligations of the government that have already been spent. The Congress has already said we're going to spend this money. Uh, and secondly, if there can be some constraints on spending going forward. Look, we talk about mandatory spending, and we're talking not just about Medicare. We're also talking about food stamps up by, by one-third under Obama. Hey, let's take a good look at that. Let's look at the other 80-plus means-tested programs out there and make some rational decisions as to what ones can be combined, what can be pared back, and where we're really going with this whole business. You are one of the most powerful people in Washington. You run a huge organization. Are you telling, are you laying down the law to the Republican Party, get this done or else? I think they will get it done because, as you know, I'm the congenital optimist here in Washington. <laughs> and when, when faced with a real deadline like this, they, they will have to get it done. And they will both get that done. I was very pleased to see just yesterday that the House has passed a Homeland Security regular appropriations bill, including $1.7 billion for the wall. So there is some regular order going on down here in Washington, and I just hope there can be a lot more of it in the few remaining days, both this month and then into September. That sounds like a threat, Ed, but I'm not uh, going to put that label on you. <laughs> you are a powerful no, guy. <laughs> Don't cross Ed Fulner. Don't do that. Okay. Now, uh, I'm intrigued at this mountain of cash that some of the big-name technology companies are running up. Look at this. We've got Apple's got $261 billion, Microsoft 120 Look, there's, there's a lift on the screen right now, and that is an enormous pile of cash. If we get a cut in corporate tax rates, do you think that that money will come back from where it is now, overseas? I think it's not only going to come back, it's going to come flooding back, and that's how we're going to get the economy up to the three three and a half or four percent real growth that it should have and clearly that's what markets are expecting to have happen that's why we were at twenty two thousand as you just reported in the dow uh, all-time record so let's you know let's really work on this so, tax reform yes. Let's get the corporate rate down to fifteen or eighteen percent yes if you can get a stimulus like that with you know maybe a third of a trillion coming back to america you have gotta push the republicans for a very slim down tax cut if you just cut corporate tax rate a lot of us would be happy we sure would and of course seventy percent of that corporate tax that's currently being paid is being paid by real average americans in the middle class yeah. they're the ones who end up paying it companies don't pay taxes people pay taxes that's as close as I've ever seen you to getting <laughs> pounding the table, Ed Fulner, and we appreciate it, let me tell you. <laughs> Mr. Fulner, thanks for joining us, sir. Heritage Foundation. See Thank you, soon. Stuart.